Hooking the reader. There are many ways for you to hook a reader into reading your essay. This lesson will present some ways of, that you will use in order to hook your reader. First, you're going to make your writing a page turner. The lead or beginning or introduction establishes the direction your writing will take. A good lead grabs your reader's attention and refuses to let go. In other words, it hooks the reader. So when I'm saying hook the reader, that means your first sentence of your essay will get the reader's attention. The lead is the first sentence of your essay. Hooking a reader when you are writing an essay is just as important as a movie trailer is to the success of a movie. Think about the last movie that you went to see and how excited you were when you saw the trailer for the movie. You wanted to see the movie, right? Well, your hook or your first sentence will get the reader involved in your essay and make the reader really want to keep on reading. So there's three rules that you will follow when writing a lead or a hook. Number one, you have to get the reader's attention in any way you can. Get that reader's attention. You also have to present your topic and purpose in that lead. So you can't just make some random statement. You need to actually have your topic in there. And then you need to connect with your audience. And we're going to talk about ways to connect with your audience in a minute. So my question for you is, what if I could offer each of you $500,000? Think about it. No, you will not have to do anything illegal. So would you like to know how to get it? Well, graduate from high school. Studies show that people who graduate from high school will earn at least $500,000 more in their lifetime than people who do not. Staying in school will determine whether or not you get the $500,000. Well, did I get your attention? This is an example of one way to hook your reader in the introduction, asking a question. You can use questions to hook your reader. Let's take a closer look at some examples. Here's an example of using a hook question as your lead. Acne, baldness, sterility, sound attractive fellas? Or ladies, how about a deep voice, facial hair, and kidney damage? All of these appealing attributes, along with many others, are side effects of using steroids, yet people continue to use them. Have you ever wondered how you would survive if you found yourself alone in the jungle? How would you defend yourself against predators? What would you eat? Where would you find water? Read Lord of the Flies to see just how a group of teenagers managed to survive. So now you can practice at home if you want to. You don't have to, but it is definitely recommended just seeing if you are understanding what we are talking about. So writing an effective question to begin your introduction can help you organize your essay because you have to be able to answer the question in a comprehensive manner. For example, you should consider taking a moment to share your responses to each question, which questions bring out the most information and cause for discussion, which questions bring out the least information, how were some questions more interesting than others, how did some questions bring out a strong reaction in you rather than the statement might have? Explain why. In your opinion, what question is most effective and why? Here are some questions to avoid. In other words, do not use questions like these. These are more for the younger kids. So these are examples of meaningless questions. Do you hate school uniforms? I do. Do you have a favorite season? Well, I do. Have you ever wondered why people believe in school uniforms? Well, I'll tell you. Can you see how those are kind of meaningless questions? They don't really hook the reader. Another technique that writers use to engage the writer is to share a personal experience in the introduction. Here are some examples. You can use personal experience. I walked into the cold, white room on April 23, 1992. The beeping of the machines echoed immensely in my head, and I knew that noise would haunt me for the rest of my life. I walked in further to join my family that stood beside the bed. I hung my head in grief, and through tears got one last look. I bent over and gently whispered, Goodbye, Grandma. I love you. It was then the nurse made the machines make a more painful sound, the sound of silence. 
This is the act of euthanasia, which is the hardest decision for a family to make when the choice is suffering in life or inflicting immediate death. So this is an example of a like personal anecdote or a personal experience that is being used as a hook. If you want to make your paper longer, definitely use one of these. Here's another example. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. It was my basketball first game, and I had the ball with the clock ticking away. I was standing on top of the world. However, to get that point, I had to go through pregame jitters, the embarrassing shot, and the opponent's hard stares. Yes, it takes determination to succeed. Another example of a personal anecdote. Let's just skip this page. So here's another way for you to hook your reader, which is using great quotes. So what phrase is this great civil rights leader most famous for? So this is Martin Luther King. So think to yourself, what is the most famous quote that he ever said? I have a dream. Open with the quotation. Open with a quotation that is well known, but be sure to put quotation marks around it because you will lose points if you don't have quotes around it because that's plagiarism. So here's some examples of famous quotes. We have, a penny saved is a penny earned. That's Benjamin Franklin. We have, all that glitters is gold, which is Shakespeare. You could also use figurative language to hook your reader. Metaphors, similes, hyperboles, personification. So here's an example. Time flies when you're having fun. That's an example of an idiom. Some of you guys learn about idioms in speech. You can begin with a simile, a metaphor, or personification. Remember, a simile is comparison using like or as. A metaphor is a comparison using not like or as. You just state one thing that is similar to another thing or different than another thing. And then you can also use personification. Give non-living objects human characteristics. Here's an example. Mississippi is the red-headed stepchild of Hurricane Katrina. How do you ask? The loss of life and property in this Gulf state have almost been completely forgotten by the rest of the country. So the Mississippi is the red-headed stepchild of Hurricane Katrina. That is a metaphor. Here's additional examples. Tardies have taken over our schools like cancer. That's a simile. Tardies have been the pimple in our school's otherwise clear complexion. That's a metaphor. It's a really good metaphor. And the bell screams for the students to return to class, but his calls are left unanswered. Personification. So we're wrapping it up now. Let's just go over the rules of three. Don't forget, you need to get the reader's attention in your hook, present your topic and purpose in your hook, and connect with your audience in your hook. These are examples of how you can write your hook. You can ask a question, share a personal experience, open with a quotation, or use figurative language. Any of these would be fine, but you do have to choose one of them. Just remember, you're making a bold statement. The introductions in this section will deal with speaking your mind, making a bold statement to emphasize your position. I'm going to actually move on here, and there's some other tips in here, but you will have this presentation, so you can always look at it later. But just ending up with, don't forget, you are not supposed to use these phrases. You will not get a good grade on your hook. If you use these phrases, I'm telling you this now. In this essay, I'm going to tell you about, I will write about, the first reason is, the second reason is. Those are more for younger kids. I do not want you using these in your hook. So in class tomorrow, you will write your introductory paragraph, paragraph number one. Remember what you learned from this video, and you should do just fine.